Hi, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink and today I'm going to talk about a soft tremolo blues riff. What's that? Just listen. Something like this. First of all, um, sound settings, of course. As you can hear, there's a pretty large tremolo effect on the guitar. I've chosen here Vibroverb Amp, a twice 12 inches uh, speaker, and some delay on it, and the tremolo effect. This makes it whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't set it too hard because you can make like more wobbling, but I think this way is cool and some reverb. So let's see how it's played. The chords are very easy. We have basically a A chord, but uh, I'm using drop two um, voicings, meaning open A string here in the second fret, here in the second fret, G string is not played. So, so this is for A and this for D with A in the bass, 3rd fret, 4th fret, and sometimes with the pinky here, additional on the high E string in the 5th. And the, at the end we have... This is the G major 7 chord. 3rd fret, A string is not played, 4-4, four, four, open, B and E string. So these the chords are very easy to play. The main trick which is happening here is uh, this hammer on thing. So we're starting with of course with finger picking. First we're starting with open uh, strings and now hammering in the chord so See? So we da, da, ga, da, ga, da. So these two are hammer on notes, and the last again is picked with the finger pickers. See? That's the main trick here. Oops, now I just uh, hit the G string, which is not played at all. And then back to the bass and then the high note. See, then goes to the second. Same system again. Open A string, open D string, open B string. Hammer in. And here, occasionally you can use the pinky here in the fifth, so. Back to the bass now with the pinky. So that's it. And then with the finger picking motif you can do stuff like this. What I do here is come back from the E string to the G, uh, B string. Make something like this. And then we go to the G. Same system. Now we have first um, attack uh, here in the third open D and G string and then again hammer on here with the middle and the ring finger and add the open B string and when we go to A5 same system but now with the A open A string mm -hmm. 
and then the ending phrase is here open A string second second four slide up in six lettering to five and back to two see so we have Let's check the finger picking again here. Very easy stuff here. And that's basically what's happening. So um, That's how the cookie crumbles. Yes, as usual, uh, <laughs> after the technical parts of uh, the tutorial, here comes the, emo the emotional part of it. How do we sh shall we play this? We can which kind of emotions? They're very important. Because, I mean, all easy stuff only sounds cool when it's filled up with, with the pr appropriate emotions. I think it's very smooth, it's very relaxed. For me it's the color orange, believe me or not. <laughs> it's like the lonesome uh, cowboy thing, more or less, or the Marlboro thing. I mean, you can play the same thing with different intentions, it sounds different. Now let's play the lonesome cowboy. Because what makes a difference if you play long notes or how long you want to play uh, pauses between the notes, it's the way you describe your picture or um, what you want to express with your pl while you're playing. You also can play. That's the same thing, but now it's more happy. The other was more serene, relaxed, sensual, and this was more happy, jumpy. That's the way you can make the same thing, the same note sounds totally different. And this is what is you might should consider when you play this. We even can add some melancholic, melancholic note, like... Same notes, but now it's melancholic. Just think about a story you're telling or a mood which you're in and then let it flow. Yo, so that was it from the... Uh, oh my god, I forgot the title of the tutorial. <laughs> it doesn't matter, just play it.